The astronauts finally made it back. Here's the rundown on this whole situation and why it became political. In June 2024, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams launched to the International Space Station on the first crewed flight test of the Boeing Starliner spacecraft, and this mission was meant to just be 8 to 10 days. They made it to the ISS, but then helium leaks and thruster malfunctions were detected in the Starliner's propulsion system. The next two months were spent troubleshooting while it was still docked. NASA ran significant tests, but determined that the risks were just too high and that the Starliner returned to Earth uncrewed. Then in August 2024, NASA shifts its plan to bring them back on a SpaceX Crew Dragon in February 2025. And here's where it gets political. Elon Musk claims that SpaceX could have sent a Crew Dragon up there in September, but the Biden administration denied it for political reasons. There's no documentation of this, so you either take his word for it or you don't but the astronaut up there did say it was factual. The astronauts did not waste their time up there. Williams and Wilmore integrated with the other crew and took on long mission duties. Their mission went from eight days to 286 days, which is a lot, but we've had astronauts stay up there longer. It's unfortunate this became political, but I think we can all be happy they made it home safe.